friends, it's Megan and welcome back to your favorite day of the week, Mythical Mail Monday. So today I have quite a bit to share with you, but I'm hoping that Mythical Mails will become a little bit less large each week because I have died down a little bit on how much I'm buying because I'm spending more money on apartment decorations and gaming and all sorts of other things that are going on in my life and I've dialed it back a bit on bookish related purchases but let's just dive right on in. So my first set of bookish items here are items I knew were coming. I mean I knew all of these were coming but these are specifically things I knew what I bought because they were pre-orders for books. So the first book in this category is The Camelot Betrayal, which is the sequel to The Guinevere Deception. If you aren't aware, The Guinevere Deception is a gender-bent retelling of King Arthur, and I'm personally a sucker for any Arthurian lore, so it was right up my alley. The gender-bent aspects of it were incredible, and I highly, highly, highly recommend it. It's one of my favorite books of 2021 so far. And because I ordered it from Kirsten's local bookshop, I got it signed. And I also got these pre-order incentives that come with her autograph as well. So here we have Guinevere. And then here we have Guinevere again, but in a different scene. And these are just beautiful. This whole... Ah, uh, yes. I mean, look how pretty that is. So gorgeous. And then we also got a bookmark and a little note card from Mysterious Galaxy that says, you chose wisely, you'll love this book a Camelot. <laughs> so, oh my gosh, I just noticed this. I have to show this really quick. This is my favorite color, so must share hardcover. And it's also got a really cool embossing, but I just had to share that my favorite color was the naked hardcover. But I also saw, who was it? I think it's Adeline Grace, the author of All the Stars and All the All the Tides. Hold on. Okay, so All the Stars and Teeth is the name of the book. But Adeline Grace, her sequel is coming out, and I believe you can do the same pre-order um, slash personalized copy edition through Mysterious Galaxy as well, and I will link their shop down below. They are an independent small bookstore, so definitely support them. I also pre-ordered the exclusive Shadow and Bone edition. This is, I believe, the Target edition um, or Barnes & Noble or something like that. So it wasn't a book box edition, although I do have one on the way from Fairy Loot. But I'll show you guys what that looks like. So we have a white slip cover here with gold embossing and then it slides right out. We've got the gold ribbon here so you can pull the book out. And then here is the book itself. It's a Shadow and Bone, the collector's edition. The spine is absolutely gorgeous. And here's some artwork. And yeah, it's just a beautiful edition. I also got my pre-order copies of Uprooted and Spinning Silver, which are the Illumicrate editions. So here is what the slip case slash book case looks like. So on this side it says, a power claimed and challenged and thrice carried out is true. And then this side it says, our dragon doesn't eat the girls he takes. And then it just says, the books involved or included in this set. And then here are the books. There we go. <laughs> They're like a paper cover. So if I pulled too hard, I would like rip the cover. Here is Spinning Silver. It is the same artist as the original UK hardback edition I believe and it's got silver sprayed edges and this beautiful end paper and then the naked hardcover and the spine quote here is uprooted my favorite color on the spine it's got gold shimmery sprayed edges and I heard people say that it comes off but it didn't really I mean a little bit there's a little bit of residue but it's not bad here's the end papers and I believe these are actually stamp signed by Naomi Novik here is the embossing on the front and the quote on the spine I think this one's definitely prettier than spinning silver but they're both gorgeous I'm a little bit biased because this is my favorite color 
And then last but not least of my pre-orders, I also got the Lit Joy Classics Edition of the Anne of Green Gables book. So here is the book. It comes in this beautifully designed slip cover. And then here's the book itself. I love this artist and I mean, just look at that. It's so pretty. Also comes with magenta-ish slash fuchsia maybe, sprayed edges. And the end papers are the same as the slip cover. Obviously it's not signed by the author. That'd be pretty cool, but unfortunately not. But it does come with illustrations throughout the book and it's just a beautiful, beautiful edition and I love it so much. And because I was in the first 100 to order this set, I also got a exclusive print signed by the artist. And then also this beautiful Anne of Green Gables limited edition pin. And we also got this beautiful little card of thanks. And why stop there? I also got all the add-ons. So those included a puzzle. And I'm so excited to put this one together. Anne of Green Gables um, is a pretty popular book in my family and my grandparents and I really love to do puzzles so this is the perfect mashup. I also got the makeup case that came with it. It's that same design as the uh, slip cover. I also got this adorable pin that is almost the same as the limited edition one but without the wreath around it and I have an obsession with collections so I had to get this one and then also these adorable adorable hair barrettes. Next I have our monthly fairy loot. This is actually the October fairy loot so it's a little bit late but I saw some spoilers for the book and it was definitely worth the wait. I am so excited for this book. Oh my gosh, wait till you guys see this. So the theme of October was the Wicked Hearts. And without further ado, <laughs> let's get into this. Here is what it looks like on top. Ooh, it looks like we got a different kind of packing. I very much appreciate this because it's so much easier to clean up than those crinkle things. And it comes out all in one, beautiful. So the first thing I'm pulling out is in this little pouch. It appears like it might be an enamel pin. So pulling it out, it is. It is inspired off the young elites and it is a wolf over the crescent moon and it says, it is my turn to use, my turn to hate. And here is what it looks like. Next we have what is called the Kingdom of the Wicked Salt and Pepper Shakers. I don't know if I'll keep these because I have quite a few sets of salt and pepper shakers now, but we'll see. All right, so here are our salt and pepper shakers. So it looks like we've got a moon and another moon. And then the quote says, by earth, moon, and stone, bless this hearth, bless this home. And then on this one, we have some serpents and it says the same quote on this side. So it's a pretty cute little set. Again, not sure if it's worth keeping because if I was going to keep one um, out of my fandom ones, I'd probably keep my little Alina and the Darkling set here. But even those are more for display purposes than salt and pepper shaker purposes because I have those grinder salt and pepper shakers, which I really like. <laughs> Next is a set of playing cards and I knew these were coming. Very excited to see what these look like. One of the spoilers for this box was actually the fandoms announced for the playing cards, so I'm just going to read those off again before opening these up. So these are going to be inspired by The Shadows Between Us, The Beautiful, Sorcery of Thorns, and even The Darkest Stars. So I've only read two of those books, however, The Shadows Between Us is very high on my TBR. Alright, so our first set is clearly Sorcery of Thorns. So we have Silas. Elizabeth and Nathaniel and oh my gosh that artwork. So I'm terrible. I don't know which one of these is inspired by the beautiful. They're very similar um, kind of artworks. I'm guessing it's this one. I'm pretty sure it's this one um, that is inspired by the beautiful and I think this one is the shadows between us but I could have them flip-flopped. Again I haven't read the shadows between us so it's a little bit harder to distinguish and um yeah, and I'm pretty sure this is the Even the Darkest Stars crew here. But oh my gosh, that artwork was 
sublime, like chef's kiss. <laughs> Next is another set of cards, but these are the tarot cards. And they are, I'm honestly not sure. Um, I'm gonna have to check the spoiler card for this one. Okay, so they are inspired by House of Earth and Blood, which is Crescent City by Sarah J. Mass. Next, I'm pulling out a little box, and it is Jax from Caraval. And this is a 100-piece puzzle, and I love Salty's um, art. They did the incredible design that you might see on a lot of Akabaf stuff. Uh, but their artistic work or their art style is very in tune with what I love. And this will look incredible on my uh, Caraval shelf. So I'm very pleased. All right, next we have a set of ankle socks. They say Vampire Hunter on them. Again, not a huge vampire person. I know the beautiful is vampires, but still not a huge vampire person. So I'll probably pass along on these. And the final item in here is a little sticker sheet of Kylo Ren and yeah, it's just Kylo Ren. I think that's a stormtrooper. The rest is Kylo Ren. And finally, are you ready to behold the beauty that is this month's book? I don't think you're ready, but we're gonna go anyways. So this month's book is Kingdom of the Wicked. So first of all, the cover's gorgeous. We don't have that huge James Patterson Presents banner. Gorgeous. The, it's almost like a dusky rose as opposed to the vibrant colors it was in the original hardcover. And I think they changed the like coloring on the snake or the serpent. And then look at these stenciled edges. Holy cow. Oh my gosh. That is the most detailed stenciled edge I have ever seen in my life. I, I'm, I'm at a loss for words. Then, it doesn't end there, folks. Look at this embossing on the naked hardcover. And finally, the under the cover dust jacket. I mean, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? This book is probably one of my favorite editions I've ever received in a book box. So, kudos to you, Fairy Loot. Wow. Then, of course, we have our art card with author note. We got a Fairy Loot exclusive deleted chapter. Okay. The bookmark off of the theme of the month. And last but not least, we have the fairy scoop with the author letter, or not author letter, the author interview, um, some exclusive things about this edition, and next month's theme, which is enemies to lovers. You can expect items inspired by The Cruel Prince, Shatter Me, The Wrath and the Dawn, A Song of Wreaths and Ruin, and Angel Fall. We're going to be revealing two things about this box. The first is that the Cruel Prince item features artwork by the incredible Rosie Thorns. And the second is that there will be a set of stunning bookmarks foiled inspired by Serpent and Dove, the Court of Thorns and Roses, the Iron Fae series, and the Book of the Month. And last but not least, this book will include an exclusive cover, sprayed edges, artwork on the reverse of the dust jacket, and a foil design on the hardcover, printed signature, and signed book plate and annotated chapter. However, I did receive an email that the foil design on the hardcover is no longer happening, but still, that's an incredible amount of exclusiveness in this edition. I swear we are almost done. Two things to go. I have this package and one more unboxing and then we're good. Um, it's been a long one this time around, but let's open up the second to last package. Okay, so the second to last package I've literally just opened now. I'm actually going to save this for my Addie LaRue uh, vlog, so switcheroo on that. And the actual last thing is from Ignite English, which is a new box I found. This is not going to be a monthly subscription, but they were doing a little women box. And you guys know how I feel about little women, so of course I had to purchase this box. Let's find out what they've got in store for me. I know literally nothing about this other than that it's little women themed. Alright, so here is the spoiler card. Okay, it says open on page 225, but I've already read Little Women. I know this story like the back of my hand, 
So I'm gonna open this now. All right, so this is, I guess, inspired off of Amy wanting to be a artist or a painter. So this is to practice your artistic desires with this watercolor paint set and send a hand-painted letter to a friend. So it's a little watercolor set. Next, we got some little Christmas candies, I believe, because the entire book is often centered around Christmas time. All right, this one you're supposed to open on page 255. Again, we're going to open it now. Okay, so this is, it will be good for my vanity, and it's a nice hairbrush. This almost feels like a wet brush, actually, so I can definitely use this. Next, it just says thank you on here, so I think you can open this at any time. All right, so it looks like it's some sort of clay work slash pottery item, and it's wrapped up in this bubble wrap. All right, so this is just a little clay trinket dish, I guess. Next is a Fable Band inspired by Joe March, which I actually already own because I was a Fable Bands rep and Little Women is my weakness. So maybe this will go in a future giveaway or I might actually give this to the girl that played Joe in my most recent play of Little Women. Next we got a paperback edition of Little Women. Surprisingly, this is not one I own, so that's exciting. It's the Penguin Classics edition. And it's just a floppy, super floppy paperback. Oh, these editions are actually really cute. So here are the other classics in this set. Next is a bookmark that says, I like good strong words that mean something, which is a very famous Joe March quote. And just a cute little advertisement for Ignite. And the last item in here is a magnet that says, let us be elegant or die and that is adorable. I will definitely stick this right on my TBR cart. And finally, we have the Little Women Activity Guide. So let's see what it includes. So it's got a character list about the author, fun facts. We have a before you read, as you read, and discussion questions, think and create. So it looks like this is more of a box that if you want to really um, delve into the book and annotate it and be super involved and open things as you go, that kind of box. This would be a really good box for that kind of purpose. Personally, I was just purchasing it because I love little women, but that's a really cool idea. So that is all for this week's Mythical Mail Monday. I hope you guys enjoyed. As always, let me know what you thought of all the items down below. Let me know what your favorite was. And as always, I will link down below all of the books I pre-ordered or any books I mentioned in this video. Um, they will be the Amazon edition, not the edition necessarily that I showed off in this haul. But at least if you purchase them, we can chat and discuss them. So again, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll check in with you in my next video. Bye, friends!